All right, guys, we're back with round three, Edison format, Epic Cards and Games. We got Donnell on the left playing Black Wings and Aaron on the right playing Zombies. I think he's playing Willadad. I'm not sure. He, he might be playing the uh, Instant Fusion Zombie deck. Uh, Donnell's been on the channel a bunch. He's won a few tournaments on the channel. And Aaron, I think he won. He's been in the finals twice, and he's won once. But he's usually playing Christia Sworn, so this is a... New deck he's running. He starts off with Rhoda. What does he get here? Oh, yeah. He's playing Welladad. I just saw the spell. Okay. So, it's Welladad. I think this is only the second time I've had Welladad on the channel. It's not a deck that's been popular on my locals. I know it's popular online. But. Okay. So, I'm surprised he did this, like, Rhoda for Armageddon and then summon Krebons. <laughs> All right. And Donnell upstart. Normal Sirocco, Special Bora. Looks like he's just going to make him negate twice. Krellons can be hard to deal with at times in, in certain decks. I know. I actually played against Aaron round one. I think, were these two guys X1? I know Aaron's X1 because I beat him round one. So, I think, I forgot who beat Donnell. I don't remember. Maybe it was Steven. Yeah, I think it was Steven who beat him. All right, so. Um, sends, summons Armageddon. Sends Plague. So what do you make here? Goyo, Brio. So he goes for Brio. That's surprising. Unless he's going to pitch something for Brio. So we know he sent the plague with Armageddon. What's Donald thinking? Does he have bottomless? Yeah, see, and then people 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 like say, why do I make fun of Donnell? I mean he just takes forever to make plays. <laughs> oh, dark armed. <laughs> uh, I guess that's why he bottomless the Brio. He's like, I'm probably gonna lose this Brio anyway. Oh, so this is why Aaron went for Brio. Maybe Donnell read the dark arm. He's thinking, oh, this this guy has dark arm, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my bottomless. All right, so Donnell MSTs the solemn. Shura drops Caluso. Aaron takes four hundred. So I have him eight thousand to seven thousand. What does Donnell get here? Veyu. Yeah, because you have Sirocco in there. Yeah, get Veyu. It's not like armor matcher is good in this matchup anyway. I wonder what Donnell's last card is. But he hits him for 800. So Donnell's got three cards and Aaron's got like three in hand and a plague. So Aaron could... Aaron, depending on Donnell's back row, Aaron should be able to come back. Break this break this field. So he normals goblin. Does he use E Telly or tops for plague? Part of the teleport. Get get those get those psychic monsters out of your deck, especially if you're playing the telekinetic power well. I said this is a deck that I've never played against. I have much experience. I, I don't really play online much. I'm more of an in real life player, and no one of my locals has played this deck. I'm, all the like big tournaments I've gone to, I've never faced against this deck. You know, I played at the Ultimate Time Wizard Tournament, RBET Orlando. Uh, I played in like two big uh, tournaments in Acropolis Cove in Texas, and I've never gone up against this deck. So, but I know it's popular online, so it's I, I kind of glad I'm watching this duel. It's only the second time I've had it on this channel. I think it's actually the first time I've ever uh, commentated over it. Okay, so anyways, uh, Aaron summons the guy of the Force of Earth. I think people don't like to waste their Goyo, so they just summon this guy. But then one duo I remember I was watching, I think it was Victor. He summoned this guy instead of Goyo. I think he was playing Zombies as well. And him not making the Goyo ended up costing him. Because uh, I think Los or someone just Goyo'd over his Force of Earth. 
but he, I mean, one bottomless is gone. Maybe he's he's like, oh, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get deprisoned here. So I'd rather him deprison my Gaia instead of my Goyo. So I get it. So let's see what he does. Attacks. So ooh, what does Donnell have? Nothing. He takes 800 from that. That's first damage for Donnell, and then Aaron sets one. So this, this, so does it, what's Donnell's back row? Ooh, Wing Blast, the new one. Okay, I like that. And Dono scoops? What? You're still high on life. Why'd he scoop? Oh, no, I think Dono took 28. I'm wrong. I think his hand was terrible. <laughs> what did he have set? It must have been Whirlwind. That's the only thing I can think of. It had to have been Whirlwind. Because it wasn't deep prison, it wasn't oppression, it wasn't bottomless torrential mirror force. So I'm guessing his two, maybe he drew double whirlwind, and then since he put the whirlwind back on top of his deck, but he still had value. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Anyway, Aaron allures and banishes Krebons. Let's see. What's in Aaron's hand? Double Krebon. Does this deck play three Krebons? Man, he... <laughs> Maybe this deck should play Raikos so you can mill those psychic monsters. Do they play Raiko in this Weladad deck? <sighs> okay, Donnell, can you get this Krebons off the field somehow? Maybe you got Brain Control, Mind Control... Let's see. See, Dono, and then you complain. Come on, man. Look at this. L look at this. And then Dono gets mad when people call him slow. Come on, man. Not picking on you, but... <laughs> and this duel is sped up, by the way. 1.4 times faster than normal. So imagine if this was regular, regular speed. People were watching the... Com I've even had someone in the comments mention to not feature Dodell anymore. But he just keeps... He keeps doing well, man. <laughs> I Like, what do you want me to do? Okay, here comes the brain control. <laughs> tell, the, tell the other people in my locals to stop Dodell so we can stop featuring him. Featuring him. <laughs> All right, so here it goes. He makes an eight. Aaron's still got a full card of hands. He goes for Stardust. Let's see if it attacks. Oh, Dark Arm. Yeah, he's going to hit now. Oh, so we saw Dark Arm drop game one. Dark Arm drop game two. Oh, man. Yeah, he's going to hit you with the Dark Arm. Just take both already. So he drops it on the 25 because he's like, ah, oh, he's going to get popped anyway. Might as well. And then... Donald chooses to pop both. Why didn't you attack over one? Or did Aaron take both hits? I can't really tell. Maybe he took both hits. All right. So now Donald's got two. If Donald's got oppression, I think this is this is gonna be a quick second game. So maybe this is why Donald took long because he had dark arm and he's like, how do I drop this dark arm? <laughs> That's probably what he was thinking. Donald. Dono always makes fun of me because I always go for game and he's more like he plays like Dono's like ultra conservative. We're like like polar opposites when we play Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, so he foolishes. Oh, what if Aaron drops his own dark arm right here? Oh, Mally. Ooh, Crow. And that gives Donnell another dark. I have a feeling that Aaron's got his own dark arm. Okay, so Aaron knows Donnell's got two darks. So start to Donnell's probably gonna pop. But what do you pop against zombies? Do you go for the face down monster? No, he goes for the back row, which could be wing blast. We know Aaron plays wing blast. <laughs> See, this is one of the weaknesses of Wing Blast right here. You're seeing it firsthand. Actually, 
had this exact problem happen to me uh, yesterday. I was testing with my friend, shout out to him, Nico, on Dueling Book, and I had to wing blast his dark arm, and, you know, it's kind of like... Eventually, he was able to drop it again, so... And Donnell just randomly activates Crow, gets rid of the Caius, is going to pop the Goblin Zombie, and Aaron scoops. My guess is Aaron dropped it on the on the twenty eight, so he took extra uh, he took extra damage because Donnell popped both. Or maybe Aaron wanted Donnell to waste both of his darks. That's another possibility, and not like uh, and not just attack over the. Either the gores or the token. Okay, Aaron sets a monster. Oh, it's Reaper. Oh, Donald's got nothing. All right, so Donald takes 300. So we're at 77 to 8,000. Let's see what he hits. He's going to roll the dice. I don't know. Sometimes I roll. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Now Aaron knows you have bottomless down there, so he's going to play around it. <laughs> it's funny, as me and Donna were playing one time, and the same scenario happened. He accidentally flipped Torrential when I, he and I were playing, and I'm like, oh, yeah, now I know that's Torrential, so I'm going to play around it the whole time. It's unfortunate when those scenarios happen. I think I had that this scenario happen. Uh, yeah, the scenario happened to me yesterday in testing where my um, Nico, my my f opponent, I think for some reason he showed Starlight Road, and and then I just played around it the whole game. I think he tried to Starlight Road me when he couldn't. Something like that happened, and I was like, "You can't Starlight Road here." Oh, he tried to Starlight Road my absolute zero. I was like, it's damaged up. You can't starlight here. And then he's like, oh, okay. And then I just played around with the rest of the game. All right. So Donnell Brains, the, the Reaper. Sorry, I went on that long, uh, that wrong story. I just these things are just interesting when they happen. All right. So Donnell just needs to get rid of the Reaper, and he's got Kalu on the field and three cards in hand. My guess is he's got another Kalu in hand. I played against Donnell so much. So that that's just my guess. He's got another Kalut. And let's see what Dono has. Pooling? Did you side in pooling against zombies? I doubt it. Okay, Krabons. Oh, so this is why they play Armageddon in this deck. Because then they just go Power Well, right? They just go Power Well, bring back the Krabon, Synchro for six. I see. I see the plays. <laughs> okay, brain control the Kalut. Ah, but he got blown out by... Let's see, does he have Icarus? Oh, he's got the tele telekinetic power well in his hand. Chain Icarus. No? No. He hands it over. <sighs> Alright, so he's just going to hit him for 28, most likely. Alright, so I have him at 41 to 72. Does Dono have oppression? Let's see. Oh, he solemns the power well. So now Donald's at twenty fifty to seventy two hundred. Man, that sucks. Donald's pretty low. Baron's got like call the haunted. He already wasted his normal summon. He gives the Kalut back. What do you have? MST Icarus? Are you gonna Icarus him at the end phase? What what's going on here? Donald's thinking. So okay, he decides not to.
I wonder how Donnell's gonna get it. I just noticed Donnell didn't draw a world one. All three games. Well, he's gonna crash. I mean, Aaron's got a bunch of cards in hand. Let's see. I can't see what's in Donnell's hand, but here we go. Donnell. Did, wait, did he get up in the middle of the duel? What happened? Why did they? Why did he get up in the middle of the duel? Okay, there. I think they're letting the guy out. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for the delay, but okay. And Donnell's still thinking. I think he's got Blizzard in hand. Oh, if he has Blizzard, that's why he's probably thinking about letting this go through. Man, Donnell, look at this, man. Look how long it's taken him to make this this play. <laughs> oh. See, whenever me and Donnell play... Actually, I was watching Donnell play the other day. Okay, I think he passed. Wait, what happened? So he just calls for Krebons? Oh, he crows. Okay, he crows the Krebons. I'm guessing he didn't want to crash his Kalut, and he took forever to make that choice. And here comes Zombie Master. And... Pitch Mazook to get back Reaper. What's he thinking? Okay, so he bottomlesses the zombie master. So yeah, I think that thing has to remain face up on the field in order for its effect to go off. Yeah, that's that's the one weakness of zombie master. I think he called priority. Maybe he shouldn't have called priority. Huh. And now he passes. So Donnell's down to two. Here comes Blizzard. And he can't even drop the Gores if he does have it because that call's up there. So I have him 2050 to 59. But Aaron seems like he's in an okay position. He's got Mizuki in the grave. Man, how many Krabons his deck plays? <laughs> He didn't attack the Kalut. I guess he doesn't want to lose his Krebons. I mean, brain control is gone, but then Donnell could like make Brio, but it's not game if he does make Brio. So it's it's fine. Oh, but he doesn't have a card to pitch for Brio, so it doesn't matter. So I guess here you just force him to negate with Krebons three times. Yeah, just force him to negate three times. So now Aaron's at 35 to Donnell's 20-50. Does he go for... What, what does he go for? Android? Armwing? Goyo? Brio? Well, what, do you, what do you go for here? I mean, unless he's just going to let that last... No, you negate... I think you negate all of them, right? Well, what are you going to do? I was already looking at his extra deck. So he just leaves all his monsters up and then passes. Oh, it looks like he drew Compulse. Not a good... Good card. Oh, Caius? Does he play Caius? No, he tributes set Mally. Oh, Dark Armed. We well, you know uh, Aaron's Solemn's gone, so one Bottomless is gone. So I think maybe he's got uh what could he have Icarus? Yeah, Icarus. Target the Dark Armed and the Mali. I mean he already normal summoned, so Aaron's cooked. What does Aaron do here? Maybe Donnell should attribute it to Kalut, because then he could just make uh 
He could just make arm wing and pierce over the Reaper if he brings back the Reaper. Yeah, but now Maz Oh, he still had the other Mally. Wait, I thought the Mally got crowed. Yeah. Oh, I was wrong. Maybe that was a different game. That must have been game two. All right. He could have brought back the Reaper too, right? He hasn't used Mizuki yet. He's at 35. Donnell could have pierced with the Bora. I think he should have attributed the Kalut instead of the Bora. Because he would have pierced him right here and hit him directly. Oh, then another Kalut. I'm guessing that's game. Anyways, uh, congrats to Donnell. Moving on, X1. Hope you guys enjoyed this duel. And we'll be back for the final round of Swiss. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.